Hi Dresser Cuties, Wayne here. Today we're going to dry a bottle of chocolate milk from Sticky Cow. So let's get started. To draw this cute bottle, let's first start by drawing a straight line for the top of our jar. So I'm going to come right here and just go ahead and draw a straight line across about that wide. And then I'm going to come around and round it off on both sides. And then go ahead and connect it once again. Oh, actually, you know what? I did the same mistake last time. I'm going to skip a little bit space. Almost forgot again. We did the same thing with the strawberry milk. And we just want a little bit of a gap. There, so don't complete the line. Then from there, we're going to come, uh, let's say about right here. And I'm going to start the side of my bottle. And here. And so let's come down. I'm going to make my bottle a little bit wider and shorter. I'm going to start to bring it in. Okay, so there. So I have this little angle that I'm creating. And so let's bring it all the way down. And I'm just making my line a little bit softer so it's not completely straight, just to make everything nice and soft and cute. So same thing here. So notice there's a slight curve to my line. And about right here, I'm going to go ahead and bring it in. About right there. So take a look, see how long you want to make your bottle. So just one thing to note, if you're hopefully you're using a pencil at home, because when we put in our cow, we might not have enough space or we might have too much space. So then you can adjust the length of your bottle accordingly. So hopefully you're using a pencil and then you can just erase. Okay, so now that we have our basic bottle shape in, I'm going to come back in here and I'll start about right here. I'm going to come to the sides. Give myself a little bit of space and from about right there I'm going to draw this wave shape. Curve and come back to the other side and then now I'm just going to go ahead and follow exactly the outside of my bottle. I'm just going to go all the way around. So same thing on this side. So it just makes it look like glass by giving it this little space. There. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to come back to the top before I forget. I'm going to draw in a straw. So say about right here, I'm going to go through with an angle line. I'm going to stick it right in the center, curve the top of my straw, nice thick straw, and go ahead and draw another angle line all the way down there. Okay, so then now we can finally draw our cow. So let's start about right here, kind of where it starts to bend. I'm going to come right about here, and I'm just going to draw a soft curve first, dip it in, and then we're going to come out again. So this is kind of like where the ears would be. And then now we're going to come out with a big curve for the head. And we're going to bring it down. Nice big head and bring it all the way down to about right here. So I'm just going to start to bring it in. There, nice big curve. Then from there, let's come back and draw in some details. So I'm going to come back to this little curve I created, come down a little bit, and about right here, I'll just put in this little loop for ear. <laughs> there. And then let's see, let's come back into this space. About right here in the center of this big curve, we're going to draw a big oval at an angle. So I'm going to come right here. So this is the snout of our cow. We want to draw it at an angle. So I'm just going to draw this oval shape right about here. 
turn your paper if you need to or your body whatever helps you to draw this so at an angle and then from there I'm going to come to the top this is my about the center come to the sides and I'm just going to draw two small little circles and shade it all in there now I'll come to my snout area and just draw two little light ovals for the nostrils okay so then from there before I forget again I'm gonna to come to the like imagine this is the center so let's say about right here I'm gonna pop out two of these curves it's kind of like the horn I think this is what it's supposed to be there and then from there let's go ahead and we're going to start to draw the body holding a piece of chocolate so i'm going to come about right here and we're going to just draw a curve and then one more curve for the foot and we're just going to taper it in because our cow is very stuck in this jar so <laughs> we just want to put it right against the edge then from there i'm going to come let's see here I'm going to come about right here. I'm going to use this curve to create one hand. So I'm just going to draw a curve and bring it in. Then across from it, I'm right here, so imagine everything is at an angle. Across from it, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw another curve for the other hand. They are right across from it. Then in this space, we're going to create our piece of chocolate. So come back to this curve you've created and about right here, I'm gonna go straight down with a little line and I'm going to angle it. Let's see, maybe it's easier for me to go this way. I'm just gonna angle one angle and then another angle right here to connect. So we're going to draw two layers of this chocolate. So let's come back about right here. Complete our line. Right there. And then one more layer. I'm going to draw a little line here. Go across. So just creating a little step. Then from there, just imagine this piece of chocolate, the angle. So say about right here. And here, hopefully this makes sense. <laughs> Once we color it, I think you can tell it's a piece of chocolate, right? Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't mess up my angles too much. Okay, there. So we have our piece of chocolate now. And then let's see, let's come back to this space about right here at the bottom. We're going to draw a curve. So this is like a label. And we're ending about right there. Round off the edge. And just like the strawberry milk, create this little label and it's going to say uh, milk. So part of our M. Actually, this one actually says ilk, right? Just to make it extra cute. So let's see here. I'm just going to follow exactly. So I'm going to come right here. This is our I. This is our L. And a K. <laughs> there. Okay, and then from there, I will need to draw another foot. So right next to this label, I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. And then bring it down for the foot. There, and then we, it's not complete without some spots, right? So I'm going to come right here and just create a curve. One, and then one big one right here. Imagine it going through. And then last but not least, there's going to be a graphics of a piece of chocolate. So I'm gonna come right here into this space. And I'm just gonna 
kind of like drawing a waffle. I'm going to round this off. So whatever angle I created there, I'm going to do the same thing here. And then split it in half. And go across. Oops, sorry. I had to follow this angle. There. So you know what? I should have brought this. I should have drawn my curve after. Then it won't get in, make a mess into that space. There. So I'll come in here real quick. So hopefully you can see what I just did. I should have drawn this shape first. I should have drawn the chocolate first and then this shape right here. Okay, so now I can go ahead and complete. So they're all done. I really hope you love how this drawing here of this bottle of chocolate milk from Sticky Cow turned out. And I really hope I helped you draw it fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.